in the third part of this three-part video series showing you all the amazing Japanese things you can do in the comfort of your home. We're going to be recommending Japanese books, Japanese movies, and Japanese TV shows that you can enjoy right now. If you haven't seen the previous videos, we'll link them in the description box down below, so make sure to check them out. We'll be announcing the winner of our giveaway, so make sure to stay tuned. We have new videos about Japan coming out every single Thursday, so make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification. When it comes to Japanese literature, most people think of Haruki Murakami, but there are a lot of other great authors and great books. Here are seven fiction and non-fiction options for you. If you're interested in reading them, we'll link where you can get them in the description box down below. The Tale of Genji by Shikibu Murasaki is the world's first novel written between the years of 1000 to 1012. As the title implies, it tells the tale of Genji, a prince who was turned into a commoner. While the story focuses mainly on his life and his many love affairs, the book also talks about 400 other characters with their own storylines. The Kojiki is often translated as Record of Ancient Matters. It's a compilation of Japanese myths, legends, and folklore. It tells the stories of many Japanese gods and how they created Japan and Japanese practice and beliefs. The Nihon Shoki is translated as the Chronicles of Japan, and similar to Kojiki, tells stories of ancient Japanese myths and legends. It's more detailed than Kojiki, and if you're a fan of fantasy or supernatural stories, then give either Kojiki or Nihon Shoki a shot. Sayonara Gangster by Genichiro Takahashi is set in the future in a bizarre world where names kill people. Virgil from Dante's Inferno is a refrigerator and Ferris wheels can talk and bleed just like we do. We're introduced to this world by the main character and he shows us bits and pieces of it through short stories. From the Fatherland with Love, written by Ryu Murakami, is set in 2011, where a small group of highly skilled North Korean special forces have invaded Fukuoka and taken the residents as hostage. The story is about how the North Korean troops operate, how the Japanese government works behind the scenes, and how a small gang of psychotic misfits is the only hope for resistance against the invaders. Of course, we have to include Haruki Murakami in this list. 1Q84 is a story about an assassin and a novelist who both find themselves in a parallel world where there are two moons, they have to solve a mystery regarding a religious cult and find their way back to their own world. The real charm of the book is its characters who are all so well developed with complex histories and connections with one another. Confessions of a Yakuza by Jinichi Saga tells the true story of Eiji Ichiji, a Yakuza boss. It starts from his teenage years detailing his many love affairs, his military service in occupied Korea, joining a Yakuza gang and becoming the Yakuza boss, his time in Japanese prisons and his experience during and after World War II. If you want to know what Japan was like in the early 1900s, then this might be the book for you. Let me know in the comment section which of these novels I just mentioned you're most curious about. Now that we've showed you Japanese books, let's look at four Japanese movies that you must watch. You might have heard of Akira. Today, Akira is still widely regarded as one of the best animated films of all time. Set in dystopian Tokyo, it tells the story of the members of a biker gang taking on a corrupt, power-hungry Japanese government and military. It is a Japanese classic that everyone should watch at least once. Outrage centers around a Yakuza syndicate and follows its members as they all fight for power and safety. It's a violent story about conspiracies, betrayals, and strategizing. It's a slow burn, but the ending makes it all worthwhile. You might have seen Totoro before. It's a mix between a cat, an owl, and a raccoon. It's created by Studio Ghibli. Any film produced by this iconic animation film studio is sure to be good, but here are our two recommendations. The first one is Spirited Away. It's about how a girl gets trapped in a spirit world and ends up working for a bathhouse. It follows her encounters with a lot of different bizarre characters of bathhouse and her quest to get back to her own world. The second movie that we want to recommend from Ghibli Studios is How Moving Castle. It's about a girl that gets turned to an old woman by a witch. And like Spirited Away, the movie is about the main character's encounters with the other strange characters and how she tries to reclaim her youth. Both these films are vibrant, exciting, and heartwarming, and they're perfect for family movie nights. Besides Japanese movies, there are a lot of highly entertaining Japanese TV shows. They tend to be quite dramatic and emotional, so if you're looking for something that will make you laugh or cry, Japanese TV shows are great. Here are three of our favorite binge-worthy Japanese TV shows.
Long Vacation is a classic known by almost every single Japanese household. It follows the life of a model whose fiancé disappears on the day of their wedding and she's forced to live with a dull pianist. The show explores the realistic difficulties in life and the relationships broken and made. One Leader of Tears is my personal favorite. This series is based on a true story of a 15-year-old girl who suffered from degenerative disease. It explores her struggles and difficulties and will really connect with your heart. Prepare tissues for a good cry. Terrace House is one of the few Japanese reality TV shows. It follows three men and three women and they temporarily live in a house together. There is drama and romance as these strangers meet one another and form relationships. It's an interesting show that really reveals how Japanese people interact with one another and how they approach love and relationships. If you're interested, we have included more Japanese books, Japanese movies, and Japanese TV shows down in the description box below, so make sure to check them out. Now for the Kit Kat giveaway. Thank you so much for all of you that entered. The winner of this week is Khan Soul Zero. Um, thank you for your constant support, and you'll be receiving these Kit Kat chocolates. For those of you that want to enter, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to just message us on Instagram and say, I want Kit Kat. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we're going to show you easy ways to learn the Japanese language and how you can do it at the comfort of your home. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification. See you next week.